Purdy looking to throw on first down here. They're throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he let him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground, incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. The handoff, McCaffrey running right. And a short pickup here as they're going to cross the 10 to the 11-yard line. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Here's Purdy now on third and goal. He's got his target. That's complete. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. And Purdy, he's going to shift him around into something else. They'll look to throw here on first down. He'll get this out right here to McCaffrey. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. How about this offense already feeling good about themselves with a touchdown already in their first drive? It certainly come out firing, even though that one was incomplete. With the 7-0 lead, more apt to take a shot like that downfield? Hey, you're one to the good. Go ahead and try and pressure advantage. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Purdy. And his throw here is incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Purdy now to throw. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. He's across midfield. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos 41 yard line. And quickly they get to the line. On first down, it's Purdy. Gets this one to use check. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. A gain of nine brings up second and one. It looks like they'll move things around here. They go play action here, Purdy. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Again, it's Purdy to throw it. He'll be brought down by the Broncos. It's a sack. And now they're going to go for it. This isn't fourth and inches. This is fourth and 14. Purdy looking to throw. Open man is Samuel. Complete. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts 
as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. Purdy to throw it on first down. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. And their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Shotgun now with Purdy. He'll get this into the hands of Ayu. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Now Purdy. That's caught by Debo Samuel. Touchdown, San Francisco. A great effort there in the final seconds of the first half. And the Niners go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. Moody good with the extra point, and it's now 14 to nothing. So not much time to work with here. Nine seconds remain in the half as this one is away. And he'll elect not to run with it. The fair catch will move this out to the 25-yard line. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. And with only nine seconds remaining, well, not much time, we'll see how they play this. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Oh, he'll air this one deep for Judy. And it's knocked away and incomplete. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. A two-touchdown game, 14-0 to score as we get rolling again here in the second half. And the fair catch signaled for and taken, so they'll begin this third quarter from their 25-yard line. Purdy going to lead the 49ers to the line, first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Purdy will set up to throw it here. And it's caught by Jennings. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 22 yards there, a first down. First down, 49ers. Purdy now to throw off the play action. That's complete to the tight end, Werner. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. And the offense moving quickly to the line. First down, San Francisco. On first down, Purdy. And the Broncos get there and take him down. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. A throwing here, Purdy. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Justin Simmons. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. 
down to the 10, and he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Bronco defense has a touchdown. Well, yeah, here in this third quarter, the whole complexion of the ball game flips on a dime there, CD. This is back to a one-score game. And sometimes when your offense is sputtering, you as a defensive unit have to take it upon yourselves to say, we've got to go out there, maybe take a few chances along the way, and see if we can generate some points ourselves. And lo and behold, they were able to deliver. The PAT good. It would draw them closer, but hold on just a second. A flag is down on the field. And that flag accepted. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. set to get this drive underway. And remember, they were just out here a moment ago and threw the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go-around. And sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Back to throw, Purdy. Got a man, that's Ayuk. Finding room at midfield. And he takes it across the 50 to the 46-yard line. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. But you got a young quarterback, you know, maybe that's just an example of a growing pain for him. I think you're right about that, because when the game starts to move fast and it moves quickly on him, a lot of times they fall back on what they know best, their arm. He's, he's slinging it on this one. Had a wide open target, but didn't have the proper footwork to increase his accuracy. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and 10. Here's Purdy. And he's going to go down. They sack him back at the 42. He couldn't get away. He'll wind up losing a dozen yards, a 12-yard loss, and it brings up third. And now maybe they want some extra time to talk about this third and long play as we'll get a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. The Broncos going down. Two extra defensive backs for third down. Playing pass all the way. Operating from the gun. Purdy. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. And that's a really good job there defensively. They went into this possession knowing that they needed to get a stop. They're in a tight ball game, and they got it done. Great work to force the three and out. Got the football right back for their offense. They've got to go to the sidelines, feel pretty good about themselves, and encouraging their offensive mates to get some points. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. They'll send the tight end in motion left. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. 
They'll set up the screen. This is Williams. And some room to work. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 23 yards on the play. Well, they certainly had their share of troubles running the football in this one, but this play is almost an extension of the running game right here. They set up the screen, let him work out in space on the perimeter, and he turns it into a big pickup. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. Screen play set up for Williams. Well, first down screen pass, good for five. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Welcome back now to Denver. It's the Broncos trailing, but they do have possession of the football as we begin quarter number four. From the 48-yard line, here's second down and five. Now we give up the middle to Williams. And look at this for the second straight play. The 49er defense drops him for a loss. And they'll send Judy in motion left. On third down, Wilson. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man to play. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers, 36. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. They go play action now. Wilson. Being chased out left. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. They're not out of it yet, but in order to come back, they need to play clean football the rest of the way. He makes the correct read there, passing on challenging a blanket coverage and getting the first down with his legs instead. Play action. Now Wilson. This is caught by Sutton. Touchdown, Broncos. A 24-yard touchdown. And the Broncos are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And an important one that is as we are all tied now early in this fourth quarter. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. He'll be brought down by the Broncos. It's a sack. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. There's Purdy on first and ten. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten.
Purdy from the gun. Flush to his right. Now throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. And now offensive is third and ten, and I'm just thinking to myself, actors always say, what's my motivation before a big seed? Right now, the play caller is thinking, what have I done before that's worked well that I can go to right now? Yeah, because they were pretty successful in the first half scoring points. Haven't done anything so far here in the second half. A field goal from this spot likely out of the question. They've got to get closer here on third down. Purdy now to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And this is going to be another first down as he'll make the tackle at the Broncos' 34-yard line. Purdy. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. Going with a dime work on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. A second down throw for Purdy. That ball caught. Brandon Ayu. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos 14. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. Plenty of time and two timeouts still at their disposal. First and ten here. Purdy to throw. to the goal line, but it's incomplete. This entire defensive unit, Charles, they've really put in a good shift tonight, so to speak. I like how you phrased that. This has been a good shift. They punched the clock the entire evening. They ought to have shirts that have their names on them in the front to let them know these are blue-collar workers who are getting it done. Another try from the 14 on second and 10. the gun, McCaffrey. And power running here down to the six-yard line. Whistles now and a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 1.51 left. Now, what's the thinking here? Because a touchdown would be nice, but you've ensured yourself a chance at three in the lead, so how worried are you about the six? You're not very worried about if you're confident in your kicker. And if you've got a kicker who can put it through the post, you feel really good about trying to bleed that clock down in an ideal scenario, your kicker puts it through the post as the clock hits zeroes. Now the Broncos going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Another big play in a game that's had plenty of them. Fourth and two. Here's Purdy. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Niners go for it, but it doesn't work out. And this 11-play drive is going to lead to nothing on the scoreboard. Here's first down. Throwing now is Wilson. And the screen unsuccessfully dropped it. Work with me, partner. Take a deep breath, because that's what they're doing down the field now. That incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle, 
kind of scan the crowd, see if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. Here's Wilson. And they'll get him down up past the 15-yard line. From here on, any score could be the winning one, and he is certainly aware of that. Look at the way he locked in on that marker and made a mad scramble to get to it for the first down. Wilson to throw. Caught by Dosich. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. This is going to be a corner route to their tight end, and I'll tell you what, it's man coverage, so that makes it hard for a linebacker to stay with him. And he's able to make the catch on the right side of the field and pick up the first down. Now Wilson. Finding Sutton. What a big tackle there defensively. One of the most difficult things for a defender to do, and think about the speed that he brought down. If he gets away, he's likely gone. Here's third down and five. Bang out, bang out, bang out, bang out. Good Play action. It's Wilson. And he is caught. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first. And they are knocking on the door. Field goal range now. But what are the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play? Never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. On first down, Wilson. That's taken in by Gorsuch. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. I know I spent a lot of time talking about how tight ends in a lot of cases now are pumped up wide receivers, but they're still big people. He used that frame right there to absorb a really big hit on him and held on to the ball. Final minute, one timeout remaining. First and ten. Now Wilson going to change things up here. Now a first down carry. It's Williams. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. <laughs> Got a quick flash about being in their huddle. Whatever the play call was, it was tagged with these words. Make sure you stay in the middle of the field. That's where we want to be. And he did just that. And now they're going to get the timeout. So a huge play has them in field goal range with a chance to possibly send this one to OT. So it all rests now on the right leg of Will Lutz. With three seconds to go, this for the win. And his kick here is good. And it'll be all smiles on Blake Street tonight. The Broncos have won it. Well, that second half, Charles, a little bit different from the first. Not only did we have the lead change after intermission, but they were able to pitch the shutout in the second half and get an impressive victory. And what's the old expression? That's not quite how I saw it playing out of my head. You know they didn't expect this at all. As you mentioned, went into the half with the lead. Losing the game is one thing. Getting shut out in the second half, that's a surprise. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gunn. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Broncos are winners as we say so long from Denver.